and we're off and running into the first half. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The small forward handles the pass. Great way to open a ball game with a basket in the opening seconds. Now to give you some confidence. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Point rain makes the shot. Now trying to feed the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They work the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Intercepted. He up fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Chapman receives the ball. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He lets it go. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. On the outside. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. For the bucket, he gets that one to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Trying to feed the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Here they come now on a turnover. Up and inside. Fakes a jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. On the outside. There's the pick. He hits the shot. perimeter down inside tries for two can't get the shot to drop gave it up top of the circle they work it around the perimeter a whistle and a foul the coach not happy on the sideline oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him wow look at the facial expression he says me Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Manley receives the pass. He looks for the bomb. Knocks it down.
They go into the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from left to the circle. There was no doubt about that one. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Moving it around the perimeter. Postel is receiving great praise from the fans. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Stolen away. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Up and inside. Trying to draw some contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He strokes it off the rim and no good. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Taken away. They get out on the break. Goes up for two. It's good. Stolen away. What a great strip. He buries the shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Way off target. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Burgess, pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The student body is rocking tonight. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They'll work it around the arc. Postel is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. The skip pass is picked off. Dunn handles the feed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Goes in. Going to move it around the perimeter. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Cougars go to the line for the first time in this game. He hits his first. Out of both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. fouled him oh and you talk about a happy group of fans listen to this crowd oh there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky here's the toss back out from the post i tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer
Takes the shot. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. On the outside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from left of the circle. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Gets the rejection. Here they go into the break. Trying to draw the foul. Up, easy one. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The Cougars have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on the court. Picks off the lazy pass. They work it around the perimeter. There's the fake. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. In the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Moving it around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Oh, Mr. Nessler, that's a no-no. The Red Raiders will step to the line for the first time. Makes it. That's a nine-zip run. Both free throws go. Looks like they want a T.O. Dick. Hey, the motor's running, baby. Coach has got to figure out how to stop this run. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. From the baseline, too strong. He unloads a three. This one looks to be headed into blowout territory. You can't let a team just control the momentum like this, Brad.
Dick, what do you make of this crowd here tonight? Well, I think they're really a quiet crowd. I thought they'd be a lot more alive. I can't believe it's sitting on their hands. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Shoots from outside. That was nice. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. But inside. High post screen. So effective that screen. On the outside, he makes a nice shot fake. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Blocked. Nice job defensively. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Throws it up. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Up fake. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Unloads a three. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. There's the screen up on top. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. High post player flashing. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. And they get the turnover. Fast break opportunity here. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot.
for two. Doesn't go. From right in the circle, goes. And it's good from outside the arc. He throws it up from downtown, drains the shot. Leans in, he gets it to fall. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries to get the D to bite. Jump hook from the low post. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnaround jumper, and he missed with the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Look at that spacing. Pump fakes. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough, and a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He puts it in with contact and all. <laughs> Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Of that basketball. He buries it. Shot clock is dead. He intercepts it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He tries to beat the clock. Clemens nails one from long range. At the end of the first half, the Cougars trail by 29. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? How about this shot at the half as time runs out? Deadly, baby. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Houston seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Start of the second half, Dick. Our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. 
If there's a coach who's synonymous with greatness in winning, it's the head coach of the Raiders. Hey, definitely one of the all-time greats. Passionate, fiery guy who is still all about discipline. High post flashes. He fires from long range. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Picked out of the air with authority. Hey, look out below, baby. Oh, my. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Definitely a foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. In and out. Dumps it in. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. He'll go to the line. First one, good. And he got them both. from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. And the slam. Now that's what I call showtime. You better believe it, baby. On the inside. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He fires away. Tickles a twine. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Puts it up. The Red Raiders have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Steals a pass. Fast break possibility coming. High post flasher is open. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble act here and turns it over. And he scores despite the hack. Picked off for the bucket. Perfectly executed. A 
Applying pressure. Not this time. They're allowing no fast break baskets. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Jumps into the defender. Puts up the shot. He makes the shot. Good job defensively. Hammers it down. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. Reverses the ball and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And drains it. There's a double team waiting there. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Tries for two. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. Let's slow it down on the replay. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Picks off the pass. Pushes it up. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Scores it, and he's fouled. So man, one opportunity here. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Cougars must regroup, Dick, and they've got to regroup fast. Hey, partner, you really are sharp. That's a great observation. If they don't turn things around in a hurry, it could snowball into something much worse. He throws it up from downtown. Hill, four, four, three, three. 
There they come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement. Get that good spacing. Tries one from three-point land. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Makes it. Play that back for me one time. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. From the top of the circle, he buried that one from way deep. Intercepted. Dump it inside. Double team now, bad angle. He comes away with it. My goodness, players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Picks off the lazy pass. Clemens pounded on his way up. With the pair. He hits the first shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Looking for a good shot. He's got an open look for the shot. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Nick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. And momentary look from three-point land for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Up it inside. Got a Don't. nice screen from right in the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Got an open look if he wants it. Jumps in. Postel makes the finger roll. With a deep shot from outside. Knocks it down. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> From beyond the arc, he nails the bucket. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. 
There's the rejection. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He drains it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Time to pick up the defense here now. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the outside, wide open for the shot. With a great block. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the wall. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop knowing he was going to get fouled. Chapman goes to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Taken away. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He nails the shot. Moving it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Got a wide open look. He shoots from the top of the circle. And he lured the defender into the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From downtown, he gets the bucket. Hill, Hill four, four, three. Three. Working it around the perimeter. Dick, you were a math teacher. Mathematically, I think this one's over. It sure is, Brad. They have no chance of getting back into this one. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way and you spin back the other way. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Controlling the ball. Defense! 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 
Looking for a screen on top and got it. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. From left of the circle, he gets the bucket to fall. Gave it up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Steals the ball. They push it up on the break. Fires it down. On the outside. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He puts up the three ball. You bet you. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Powers draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He'll shoot two. Makes the first shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Misses the second. He gets the board. Tightly guarded. He unloads. Way off target. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Ten seconds to shoot. And the ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Shot clock winding down, though. Looking for an opening. With a big shot. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets that one to fall. Texas Tech is in the bonus. Chance for one and the bonus. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Makes the second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. 